Oh, wrong again. A little while back I created a less than flattering video about Zipline's product launch in Rwanda. I thought it was all too complex, especially the launch ramp. I also thought that one-way delivery was pretty poor. Once again it seems I was well off the mark. Trying to create a simulated drone delivery experience myself has made me think through to the obvious. The launch ramp I got it makes for consistent takeoffs, and it was just a handling risk, one that no doubt mitigated through good training. I got that not landing at the destination and letting a parachute do the work for you simplified the actual delivery and reduces the number of maximum weight landings you might have to make. In my proposal, I plan to use soccer pitch sized landing areas and the thought of clearing these at the time of a delivery is causing me virtual sleepless nights. I would not want to fence a football pitch off. I would want it to be an asset for the community. We're going to have to keep somebody there full time, not just to receive the goods, but to clear the field. I now properly realise the genius of having complete control over the launch and more particularly the landing element. Zipline have removed most of the variables for these two critical areas of flight. Increasingly, I think if you're providing internet communications and solar power to make that happen at the delivery site, it's a completely wasted resource when deliveries are not happening. All of the delivery sites that I create should be as close as possible to a school so they can leverage some free web. Who knows, that might be where the value actually lies. <laughs>